What is up, Heat Nation? Welcome back. We're in the building. It's your boy Goods, King Me Sports. You already know the vibes. Make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button. Violate that like button for your boy. We in here, man. Listen, I know there's so much to cover with the Miami Heat season. And I know you guys like, yo, dog, where you been at, dog? Where you been at? Well, if you're wondering where I've been at, check out the video I posted before this. You know, I talk about it and everything. You can go there, check it out. But here we are. Um, and obviously we at a place right now where we're in the season, in the middle of the season. Where we at? Where we got? We got the Miami Heat record. We're gonna look at the record real quick right now. So the Miami Heat are 26 and 23. Ah, listen, ah. There's, there's nothing good to say about that, bro. There's nothing good to say about that. It's not something we're proud of, but it's a lot of teams out there struggling. Obviously, we know, we hate to admit it, nobody wants to really say it, but the Boston Celtics are looking like the Boston Celtics right now. You know, they got it going. They doing pretty good. They, they got their ish together, bro. And it's like, what more can we say? I mean, can't be mad, can't be haters. You know what I'm saying? We can't be haters about it. You see, the Boston Celtics, they got their thing going on. They doing great. You know, we over here sitting at, you know, just a cool number seven, you know, one place away from not even making the playoffs. It's crazy, crazy to talk about, but hey, it is what it is, man. But this is where we are, man. And I don't even know how I feel about the outlook of where we're going with this um obviously we got jimmy butler and we feel like you know obviously we feel confident because we're like we, we got jimmy we good dog and we good that's how we always feel about everything you know we got jimmy we got tyler everybody doing their thing we good dog but listen i'm gonna keep it real like this man we still got duncan and duncan is playing some good basketball um you know injuries noted but you know we still got these guys we doing our thing and we just gotta really just focus on what we're doing and make sure that we stay focused focused that's the number one thing we need to do heat nation is stay focused and one thing you know we do every year is people take shots at us man they take shots at us and it is what it is i'm not tripping man like so recently let's pull this one up rasheed wallace has something to say now people are taking a dig at this and saying it's a dig at bam out of bio but bro i don't even think bam is a true center i've been talking about bam not playing center like this whole time i do not want bam playing center the end of the day bam doesn't even look like he's playing center we've always said that bam needed a true center next to him that we've always said this so the fact that people are taking this as a dig doesn't even make sense to me to be honest but hey it is what it is i just think that we definitely i listen i agree with rasheed i agree with him I and mean, whether people want to look at this as a dig it is what it is and it says rasheed wallace might have taken a swipe at bam out of bio by saying um oh, the miami heat needs the true center to emerge from the eastern conference and i mean he goes on to say what he says but I, bro what what, what did you expect the guy to say? Miami, for me, in my opinion, all they need is a true center. Like, like I love Bam. That's my guy. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He's really a but power forward. He's not a center. Right. He's a power forward. Yeah. Right. I agree. So you got him going against the Embiid, the Jokers, uh, the, the Rudy Gobert. You got him going against the guys who, who got him by at least four or five inches and outweighs him by at least 60 to 80 pounds. So, 100%. I mean, that, that makes a difference at some point in the game. Right. But I think Miami, all they need is a big man. You know, their guards are good. They're solid. Um, what about your you know, former team, the, Boston? What about them? We don't want talk about boston right now we know boston doing anything we don't want to talk about it. but i agree with him and i think he's right on i think he's on the spot so i don't take this as a dig at bam at all um i just think we definitely need a true center and nobody in the world knows what the heck miami's gonna do honestly nobody knows what they're gonna do this season the, the trade deadline like it's literally a big ass mystery like we just sit here waiting to see what Miami gonna do? And I mean, that's always been the case. We never know what they gonna do because we make speculations. We talk about what we think they gonna do, who we think they should get. And for the last few seasons, Miami has always done the complete opposite. When we thought we was gonna get a big trade, nothing happened, you know? But we just gotta sit back and watch. I mean, hopefully we do something that makes sense. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. But um, what is this Kelly Olynyk? Kelly Olynyk is a backup center in the market right now. Uh, I see. Mm. I, I'm good with Kelly Olynyk, but I don't want Kelly. I don't think Kelly Olynyk next to Bam makes sense. Kelly Olynyk as a backup for Bam maybe makes sense, but we're talking about a center who can be next to Bam. Like think of like I know it's gonna bring y'all back some you know some bad memories, but Hassan Whiteside. If we had like a Hassan Whiteside next to Bam, because Hassan is a true center. Like Hassan is a true center. Like and I'm talking about the Hassan back when he was like leading in blocks and all that. I'm not talking about the Hassan now that's just posting Snapchat videos 
videos and, you know, living his best life after he got that big ass check from Miami. I'm talking about true center Hassan. If we had a true center Hassan next to Bam Adebayo, it'll be a wrap. I'm telling y'all, man, would, we would be out here killing it. But that's just my thing, man. I'm just saying, we need a true center. I agree with Rasheed Wallace. Um, Obviously, the Miami Heat did get Rozier. Um, I like the Rozier trade. Obviously, it's going to take Rozier some time to like get acclimated to the team and start putting up some good numbers. But I mean, we'll see. The deadline is coming up. It's approaching really fast. We'll see what happens from there. And maybe, you know, maybe the Miami Heat will do something that'll finally make us happy or make us feel like we're getting there. But to the end, man, I don't know. But let me know how y'all feel about How do y'all feel about this? How do y'all feel about bam continuing to play center with the heat knowing he's not a true center but i digress let me know how y'all feel heat nation you already know the vibes everybody in here i appreciate y'all for rocking with me for this long because we in here even after the hiatus we chilling we're gonna get this thing going we're gonna start off real slow but we're gonna get this thing going if you have not subscribed make sure you go down there hit that subscribe button it's your boy goods king me sports you know the vibes I'm making a change today, the lift have been taking the pain away I heard you was giving your chain away, that's kind of like giving your fame away What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do A boss is a road that I've grown into, I love you to death but I told you the truth I... Hey.